As we do it, I kick it over to the guest first to kick it off with the first buy or sell. The spotlight is yours, Brian. <laughs> okay, so um, you know we did a, a pre-record episode uh, on uh, one of the podcasts I do at GoingForTwo.com. Yep. Uh, about quarterbacks. Okay. And um, Mac Jones came up, and I'm going to call Mac Jones a buy. Love um, it. So this is largely not so much in the trade streets, but because it's it's startup season, right? And it's also sort of like speculation season, like what are these offenses going to look like, right? So Mac Jones had a pretty good 2021. I mean, he's he's all floor. He's not very he's not ceiling. He's not sexy. He's not spicy, but he's he's a competent thrower of the football. He's a competent leader and and game manager. 2022 it left a bad taste in people's mouth. Matt Patricia a defensive coordinator was Preach. the offensive coordinator, right? Now say what you will about Bill O'Brien as a head coach and GM and what he did with the Texans. He's, they're only asking him to be an offensive coordinator. And I hate to give like, it can only get better nowhere, but up analysis. <laughs> Cause, but sometimes it's true, it right? Is. So when you switch from Matt Patricia to Bill O'Brien, you know, it, it's the only place you can go is up right now. Jacoby Myers to Juju is, Probably a lateral move. Uh, it remains to be seen what they do with Gasicki. There's a lot of competition for those uh, sort of slot intermediate kind of mm -hmm. targets, right? You know, who knows if Tycon Thornton takes the next step, right? But mm -hmm. it, it's, a, it's the idea of Bill O'Brien in and specifically the price, right? Mac Jones right now, um, I don't have him too far above, you know, where the community has him. I have him at quarterback 24 in my rankings in a tier of 22 to 30 ktc's uh 27 uh fantasy calc is 25 the superflex adp at dlf is 30 mm. right bulletproof adp has him at quarterback 28 so i'm not too far ahead yep. but he's going at the 912 in superflex tight end premium startups which maybe in and of itself isn't necessarily a huge deal but when you look at that and say he's going three rounds after Lance and Kenny Pickett, he's going two rounds after Jordan Love, who's barely thrown a pass. And we have a lot of question marks about going into uh, 2023 with, with that with that Packers offense. And when you, and when you tell me that I can, you know, maybe grab some skill position players in those rounds and then get Mac Jones in the ninth at the nine twelve or you know in in the ninth round. You know, in he's going, uh, uh, you know, along with the likes of uh, in the ninth round with um, uh, Kadarius Tony, you know, uh, James Cook, Keenan yep. Allen, right? Will Will he's going after Will Levis, like a half round after Will? That's crazy, Levis. man. Yeah, I'm right. not sure he'll ever take a real snap in the NFL. <laughs> like, come on, what are we what are we doing here, folks? So, so as far as like that's like the startup. If you're gonna do it in a trade, if you're looking to acquire Mac. I'm probably not comfortable with him as my QB2. We're probably looking at QB3 in a super flex, QB2 in a real tight pinch, right? But, but you know, if you can, say, take one of those quarterbacks like a Love or a, or a Pickett, right, and, you know, tear down to Mac and get a plus, fine. Also, even if you're not using a quarterback in a trade, th he's the type of guy who – will be in a trade where you don't have to get the quarterback back. You know, you know how you're yep. always trading a super flex. You're like, I'm not trading the starting quarterback. Unless I'm going to yep. quarterback back. He's not really part of that. And just to, to end here real quick, I pulled three real life trades that happened in the last few days. Mac for Gerald Everett and a 24 second tight end okay. premium. Mac for Devin Duvernay, a 25 second and a 26 fifth. What are we That's doing? Free. People? That's free. Right? That's free. And then you can trade Jordan Love and two seconds and get Mac a second and a first. Yeah, I mean, it, like they might be like there were other trades that were like better that made more sense. But if those are going on in some leagues, kick the tires. Yeah, I'm with you absolutely on this one. Um, I think he's he's he is the starter. He's going to be the starter. He had a solid rookie year. I think he was quarterback 18. And I think you can't understate what Patricia does to a football team. I'm a long time suffering lions fan mm. so you don't have to talk to me about what patricia does to a team it's absolutely toxic so um i'm right i mean I, sorry eagles fans you got patricia now it's that's that's very upsetting um 
But anyways, I like the call. I like Mac Jones. I've been taking a lot of Mac Jones as my QB3, especially some of these Scott Fish Bulls. Are like, he just is always there that at the end that somebody wants something that's a little more sexy. Like the Sam Howell's a little more uh, you know, rushing upside, they think. Or you said the Jordan Loves, the, the unknown, so they just want to pass on their Mac Joneses. Um, I'm with you. He's, he's kind of an ideal QB3. I like the call, Brian. Thanks. 